Ay, yo estoy morando sí. y tampoco no pienso. Who would like to begin? I'd like to begin, if possible. Um, I was planning on talking to this person today, unfortunately, they were condemned. Um, and that was you, Paul. We're looking at people for being nervous, but I think there might be something to be said about looking at people who are very calm, composed and cool, which okay. are all three things you are, because I think they make great characteristics of a traitor. But I just wanted to get your thoughts on why you think the traitors put you in the dungeon today. So we had a chat today that out of me and Andrew, one of us would be banished, one of us would be murdered. Whoever is around the table, that's a genius move because I now feel like I'm going home. Uh, but I was thinking today about my little boy and Kate and I'm kind of ready type of thing. But, um, no, sorry. Um, it's just because this was like expected. But, um, the only thing I've got to come back is confident people have been picked out and it's been incorrect. You know, it's the people that aren't confident and out there and are sat back a little bit. Um, but I'm not going to put any names out there because, to be honest, I've just spent eight hours, you know, underground type of thing, so. 100%, I think Paul's a faithful. 100%. I think traitors are playing a very, very good game, basically. And we're like going at them in ones and twos, and we're never going to win. We have to all come together and vote, get five people, six people to vote faithful as, as for one person. That's what I, I wanted to say that as well. Like, you'd be happy to know I, I'm not going for you, Zach. I'm not saying <laughs> all suspicion's gone, but like, I really believe that the traitors sat around here now are really strategic, and the way that they're thinking and they're playing it, they're playing it smart. So, like, for me, personally, I'm going to say it's you, Ash. Looking at my traitors, Ash, to me, is just the weakest member. You know, it's so selfish, but then again, it's the game. The reason I'm saying this, I feel like you condemning yourself would give you a chance to be safe from everyone questioning you. And I stuff. think that's... Very convenient though, isn't it? That I would just condemn myself. All today it felt like you knew it was coming. Or like you... I didn't feel any emotion from you that we ended up kind of getting there type of thing. But we've or... all been emotional the whole day. I feel like when we left the conclave last night, there was an understanding that they would be above ground trying to steer the conversations away from me. And I'm thinking, they're totally throwing me under the bus. The comments that you were making, the way that you were behaving and stuff, it didn't feel genuine. OK, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Sorry, like... and then just on yesterday, with the contradicting yourself when you were accused and, you know... I was having an emotional moment and no, I couldn't think. Can, can you think now? Could you...? Well, it's been a, quite a long and tough day, to be quite honest with yeah, you. Yeah, it has for everybody. So I'm a bit annoyed as well. Ultimately, this is the traitors, and I need to start thinking a bit more ruthlessly here. I don't want to go down without fighting. I feel like I've been made into a fall guy, and that's exactly what they want. What we're doing is we're looking at people like me, and people like Paul and whoever else, and we're completely ignoring anybody who just has stayed quiet and not said anything at all. I want to say something. We had talks in the castle that we probably think one of the traitors put themselves down there yes. to double bluff. Yeah, but that and, would be and, really stupid. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Let, let me land, because I'm on your side. I'm on your side, so let me land. So I did think originally it was you, Ash, but just looking at the faces in the room, you look pissed off, you look pissed off, you look pissed off. Meg, you look worried. You look so nervous. Meg, why do you think you're in the dungeon? To be fair, I, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know why I was down there. I don't know why I got picked to go down there. You're like a little girl to me. I love you, but I'm sorry you're shifty as hell tonight. If you think it's me and you want to vote me, 
fine, but I am a faithful and I'm just going to stand up there and say I'm a faithful and all of you are going to be pissed off. I know there's a traitor that's going to have been in there today. Something in my gut is telling me it's you. So I don't want to vote you. I'm getting emotional because I really like you. you. I am a faithful. I don't want to cry. Everyone has to have a moment where they get questioned, right? I just don't want to play the wrong person. Someone else just wanted. Can I just ask a quick question? Because yesterday was baffling to me. But I was ask you, Andrew, the, the name that you you put forward yesterday. Yeah. I just wanted to know where that's come from. That was all because so I spent time with that because it's Ash. I know she's a strong, confident woman. I'm 99% confident that if if she was like a faithful, she would definitely speak up, and she wouldn't. But she hasn't spoke up at all. It's only because I am I'm back to ground zero. I have yeah. no idea. I'd like to add something to be honest, to be honest, Jasmine. I just want to understand about last night. You name dropped me, mm -hmm. but you didn't vote for me. So I want to know why you didn't vote for me if you think I'm a traitor. I didn't name drop you. I think it was Ross, actually. So, yeah, it was unfortunate that it was off the back of that, but it just kind of connected. I wanted to mention that when you mentioned it, Meg, as well, because obviously I don't want to sit here quiet. There was mm -hmm. just a couple of body language things I observed and things like that. What were the body language things? I can't remember because I have a bit of a broken brain, but it was something that stuck with me. But that's why I wanted to speak to you about it, OK? To be fair, if you did want to throw accusations at me, I urge them to be accurate. Would it be OK if I just uh, interject? Um, I just want to follow up from Zach's curiosity uh, with yourself, Paul. Um, everyone's got quite a curious, worried face on. Uh, but every time I've been looking at yourself, you've got this cheeky sort of smirk on your face. You seem quite secure and very sort of confident. This is my personality. I've always been this way. I am faithful. It's traitor-related things that I want to now focus on because we tried everything, right? I'm just going, sort of going off gut feeling and gut instinct and... Paul, sorry, what do you consider a traitor-related thing? Uh, Basically, everything that's gameplay related, maybe starting rumours, maybe getting involved in chats without contributing too much, being quiet at the table. To be honest, I keep flitting because I don't know. Traitors won't be doing traitor-related things. Traitors will be sitting in the background. Well, I totally agree, which is why yesterday I said I'm not going to go for, you know, your Brian's or your Zach's. I'm going to go for someone that's quiet at the table and not communicating. But then there's a whole bunch of people uh, of here who have been I, completely well, Ash, quiet pick, and gone I under the radar. One. I remember. You know? Well, who are yeah. those people? Well, like, for example, you, Evie, I've been thinking about you today. You've been completely quiet the whole time, whether it's on or off the table. And until last night, then you suddenly, that was the first time you kind of piped up. Do you know what I mean? I've been quiet with you because I don't trust you. I think I've been very vocal with everybody yeah, else. And I think everyone can vote yeah. yeah, for that. So I'm, I'm sorry you've been left out. I do think Ash deserves my backing because she's backed me every single time I've been up there. That's not a reason to back someone. I'm sorry, I backed you last night and then you voted against me. Why do you feel so strongly? Why do you keep sticking up for Ash all the time? Yeah. What's the connection? I know we've got a sort of connection. I just, I just, I just I have a gut feeling that I just don't think Ash is a traitor. And, you know, if, I did, if, if she is a traitor, that's, and I, I, that's you vote me off tomorrow, but I just don't see it. I feel like, well, I've made my mind up, put it that way.